。大家好，我是 X Canadenses， 然后今天我们有中国娃娃。<laughs> hey everyone, it's me, X Kid, and that's us. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And today, we have a Chinese doll package. Now, this box is really huge, and this has been a long time coming. And I'm so so excited to announce that I am a partner with Superbuy. So, Superbuy is a proxy service from China. So, what they do is they allow you to buy Chinese products from Chinese sites. They'll combine them all for you and ship them your way. I was recommended Superbuy by you guys. I actually hadn't used them before, and just out of pure coincidence, when I was already planning on checking them out. I was contacted by them about being a partner, so I'm really, really excited about this opportunity. It is going to be really, really fun, and all of the things in this box you guys can actually purchase very easily through a link in the description.、Um, just so you know, I am a partner, so I will earn from that, and it will help support future videos just like this one. I will seek out cool products from China to share with you guys. And something I found really cool about Superbuy is, in comparison to some other proxies I've used, not necessarily from China but from other countries, is Photos of the products are free. As soon as the product arrives to the warehouse, they take a picture and send it to you so that you can confirm it's the item that you actually ordered. I thought that that was really cool.、Um, that's not always free. And then also, I just out of curiosity, I saw that there was a little thing where I could ask them to take a video of them opening or packing all of my stuff in here. And I have a video of. Someone in the Superbuy warehouse putting everything in a box. I thought maybe that would be cool for this video, but、um, yeah, it just it just let me know how they packed it, and I could have confirmed like yes, that's good or no.、Uh, so I think that's really cool. Anyway, without further ado, some of my products. By the way, I told them to open, so don't worry about that if you see them open. So this I think is a hey, it's a rainbow bubble gem. So this is a Chinese Magical Girl show. I know nothing about it except how cute they are and that they recently came out with dolls. And convenient or inconveniently, honestly, the first thing that we have pulled out of the box is a figure. But that's okay. I bought this because there was no doll of this character, and I like actually fell in love with her. Look how cute she is. So you can see all the characters here. I believe purple and red. Have dolls. One of them is actually in this box, so get excited. But I wasn't able to order one of the dolls. I don't know if she's like not fully out yet or what, but I couldn't find her. So I'll keep looking. They're by a company, Yarun, and I've actually ordered dolls from this company before. And there's more in this box as well that you guys will get to see. So because this is just a figure, we'll be doing an actual review of her in addition to the doll that goes with her. But let's get her out of here. And you can you can let、um, Superbuy know that you want the package to be like in good condition if you want. To like keep something in box or keep the packaging or something. I personally didn't care, so I told them if you need to mangle the boxes, just make them fit. Okay, so it looks like she comes with a cardboard backdrop, some sparkly stickers. You can see how absolutely beautiful the artwork is for the characters. This is a piece of that backdrop, and here is our little mermaid figure, and she has, I guess, a box. You guys, this is so cool. She comes with a little stand. So that she can be like swimming, she's like levitating because she's in the water, and it looks like you can possibly combine that with the backdrop or something because she's sitting on the backdrop there. That is so cool, and she can sit. That's one of her articulation points is her little tail. I love the material it's made out of, and she can also move her arms and her little head. So she's simple, but she's so cute. I just. I thought the art style was really cool for the show in general, so I've been peeking at it. But to actually see what the figures turned out like, really, really cool. I really hope this character and the others actually get dolls because I am thoroughly impressed. Very cute, but we'll see how I feel about the actual doll because she'll be in here. She'll be in here. All right. So that is our rainbow bubble gem. I want to add a magic in there for some reason. Um, that is our rainbow bubble gem doll. I'm really excited because、um, the first part of the video I didn't just Google that. I, I'm learning Chinese right now. I'm on my second. I'm almost done with my second semester of Chinese. Mouda mao shirts we made a mao. Well, I need. And、um, a lot of Chinese shows aren't dubbed or even subbed into English very well. So I'm really excited to learn enough Chinese to actually be able to watch the media. I think that'll be really, really exciting. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, this was an interesting little doll.、Uh, let's see if I can read what the name is. I cannot.、Uh, I don't remember what these were exactly. I should have known. I went and looked at my purchase history real quick. 
This is, I think it's Yi Chi's Surprise. Um, I don't get that from the name because this is Xiao. I don't know what anything else is. Uh, but anyway, look at the face. Yi Chi's Surprise. Um, yeah, they are a little inspired looking friends. And I discovered these through Supervise. So one thing that I'm always looking for in a proxy, just because I think it's super convenient and easy, is a search a search portal within the proxy service so that I don't have to seek out the websites, find the link, put it in, wait for them to order it, all that kind of stuff. I really like when it's like within the same service, you can just do it all at once. And Superbuy actually has that. I was not expecting that because I've never had a Chinese proxy that actually can do that with anything but like Taobao. And um, Superbuy can do it with Taobao. They can do it with a few other sites that I hadn't heard of, but now I check on. These are good sites for non-secondhand products. So if you're looking for brand new or relatively new products that are being sold by sites sort of similar to like Amazon in China, they're really, really good. And you can check them against each other to get um, price comparisons. So anyway, I had just searched Wawa, which is doll. And that's how this one came up. And I was intrigued by her. So I decided to pick her up. So I believe these are supposed to be Zodiac inspired. I actually don't 100% recall, but yeah. I thought that she was cute, so I grabbed her. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking yes, because that's a zodiac symbol there, but yeah. You can see their little faces. It's so funny, I did not connect Yuchi Surprise with, there's some that are very uh, Yuchi Surprise, you know? <laughs> uh, but there's other ones that, like that one, I did not connect, but that's what that was supposed to be. Okay, this is a large box. I'm wondering what this one is. I think it's probably a um, teeny thing. Oh, okay, so this is a Kern doll, and I, I, I never knew how to pronounce that, so I just assumed reading the Chinese characters for Kern would help me, but it actually has made this worse. This is an aside. All right, uh, if any of you guys know Chinese or what's going on here, please let me know. I googled it and I couldn't get far. This is Ka. This says R. Ka R Wawa. Cardal. Cardal. Kern doll. What's, what's going on? I really want to know how to pronounce this. Anyway, that aside, this is an exciting doll. So I think this, the Sweet Lolita, yeah, this is the Sweet Lolita Fantasy Kern doll. And look at this art, by the way. So I really wanted to show off Kern dolls and I ordered three of them. One of them I left at the warehouse because she was really big, so she wasn't going to fit in this box without making it more expensive. And by the way, from shopping from several other Chinese proxies in the past, I was pretty impressed with the shipping options on this one. They were about the same. The prices were decently comparable, but I found that I had a few more options on this one than I'm used to. It's just which ports the package goes through, and it, that depends on um, like how much time you're willing to have it take, how much money you're willing to spend, how big the package needs to be. So I paid, I'll put it on the screen, what I paid for the shipping on this box, and it's pretty big. It's quite a bit in it, and it's decently heavy. And last time I bought a box like this from a proxy, I, it was like, 200 plus dollars and this one was really really reasonable so i was super impressed so that could be that i just got lucky because of the dimensions of the box somehow not sure <laughs> we'll see we will see uh but anyway this is our lovely sweet lolita card doll and the reason i picked this one out is because she looks quite different from other ones and i wanted to show several different sides of this brand so this is actually a super popular brand in china and in other parts of the world these are like known and popular if you were around in like the 2010s dolls era there were these smart girls dolls I think that's what they were called, and they were just Kern dolls. Um, that's that's what the bases were, and there's several countries that actually have dolls that are just Kern doll bases because they're very beautiful, and um, this one was just so cute. Look, she has this cute little two-piece. The outfit is awesome. Her face is absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to review her, so we will have a review because I have two Lolita-esque Kern dolls to review, Ka Kaar dolls to review for you guys soon. All right, I'm thinking this might be a Lulu Pop just by the size of the box. And I think I'm right. So, yeah. This is actually a Korean brand. As you know, I've reviewed Lulu Pops before. But these were just, I don't know, maybe they're sold in China. I have no idea. Because I think these are by SAMG. No? Who makes these? collab dolls. Well, anyway, these are collab dolls for Teeny Ping and Lulu Pop. Lulu Pop is a Korean brand and Teeny Ping is a Korean brand. So I don't know what's going on here, but 
look these were so cute but it was really expensive to order them out of korea and i'm currently shopping for a korean proxy i'll let you know what i find because there's a lot of really interesting south korean dolls that i really want to add to my collection um these were one of them so to be able to get them from a chinese proxy was super super convenient um so yeah and the teeny ping dolls are very stressful by the way because there's several seasons and each season will have different designs but the lulu pop collab dolls are the only ones for i think season two so there's season one which i think the chinese dolls have covered season two and then season three i it's very confusing check the doll Lect page prepared by myself and my friend peggy moon miss blue <laughs> um if you want to learn more about what's going on there it's very strange i'll, I'll put it in the description but anyway i ordered I think I ordered the full set of these. We'll see. We'll see. I did end up cutting a few of the things that I ordered out and left them behind at the proxy so that they could come later. Uh, see, that looks like Chinese. Interesting. I wonder if this is an official Chinese release. I have no idea. Um, but you can see all of the different options here. And they're so cute. Uh, I super wanted these. But the mini Lulu Pop dolls, if you like the larger Lulu Pop dolls that I reviewed before, or they were actually available on US Amazon for a minute, they attempted to bring them to the US. It seems like that's not happening anymore which is so sad i really love them um the little ones are so expensive like the fashion dolls were 20 to 30 dollars each depending on where you got them pretty reasonable but the mini dolls would be like 20 dollars each too and they're popular i don't know what their actual retail was but even just trying to directly import them could not do it uh okay next ooh, these are exciting i don't know how to pronounce this i hope i can find the um chinese text for this no um, anyway, these are Dudong dolls. I don't know what their deal is. I've heard of them, just they've been around for a while, and they're pretty popular in some circles, and these are so cute. So I ordered a Scorpio one and a Leo one because my husband has been really interested in these dolls. I think they're super, super cute, but he specifically really loves their look. He thinks they're adorable, and so I ordered ones for each of us because this is his zodiac symbol and this is mine um so it says do you feel lonely do you need a friend okay then play with me i will make you happy i'm very surprised there's not a whole lot of chinese text on here there's some here but this is a just a sticker it says tian i don't know what the other ones say um you'd think i'm not two semesters into chinese it's hard because you just have to know the character you have no idea what that says uh, but anyway how cute is this little doll and then we have a Leo one as well, of course. So I thought there were like cuter Zodiac ones. Other, well, no, the, the Scorpio one was an unbelievably cute, but there were like some really, really cute ones, but I ordered the ones that uh, were meaningful to the two of us. And it says 12 constellations and they're just so cute. So um, there's some really interesting dung doll, do dung dolls. I believe I got these from the official store, but I do think they sold out, unfortunately. I will link their store if I can, if there's any products available in it, so that you guys can check it out. What I thought was really cool as a affiliate or as a partner with, um, Superbuy, I was setting up my page and instead of having to link stuff in the description, which I don't mind doing, um, I actually could just have a little homepage where I could put favorite products so that you guys can just find them all directly there. You don't have to follow 700 links in my description and that's nice. So that gives me like a picture description. So anyway, if you were interested in Chinese products at all, I will be updating that regularly with cool stuff that I find. And you can count on it to probably be the best deal, at least at the time that I found it, because you can count on me to waste two hours of my life to, to save like $2. Could I, could the opportunity cost of that time gotten me more money? Sure. But <laughs> that's, that's not how my brain works. I'm like, I need to save $2 on this. Um, anyway, moving on, we have another teeny ping doll. So this is a purple one and god look how cute she is so i just i really love these little these uh lulu pop dolls they're so cute i really hope lulu pop has another chance in america because they're so cute and also teeny ping teeny ping seems to be getting really popular in several countries not just uh korea so clearly there's a lot going on with them in china which i think is pretty cool and the chinese doll companies which i have one in here i swear or several in here i swear i do um they're creating some really excellent dolls, so I'm very, very excited to be able to share them with you. Again, I have covered one before. Okay, what do I have here? It's from Aldi. Oh, yay! This is a Balala the Fairies doll from the newest season, I think. The, the season where they, yeah, you've got this rabbit one. 
I was so devastated when we moved past the last season without getting any dolls because it was so cute. I don't know if it was like the last, the most recent season, but the mermaid season I was devastated. I wanted dolls from that season so bad. But um, when I saw these, I was sitting there like, okay, we need dolls. Please make dolls. And they did. And they did. And they're very, very different from the other Balala the Fairies dolls. So um, anyway, whatever that animal is, it's a goat, a cow, something, a rabbit, and a dog don't know this is another show that i really hope that i can watch using my chinese abilities i feel like i'm getting to the point where i could start actually understanding sentences somewhat well um at least what grammar st structures they're using a lot of the time um yeah these dolls looked really really interesting and uh, these were actually kind of hard to find um i ordered them from two separate people that both canceled um, because of the deals that I was finding, I don't know, like maybe they were limited time or something. Um, but every time I found a good deal, cause I wanted to pay $20 or under each for these and I managed to find them for a price that was appropriate to me. You can see it in my, um, like my little favorites page that I set up. Sorry y'all, the recording was glitching out. Um, I've unboxed another one. So we moved on from the yellow one. I am really excited about this show. I really want to be able to watch it. Um, I actually talked to the people from Aldi or Alpha Group um, in person with my just started first semester of Chinese. Um, so I didn't really get to say much, but um, th they spoke English very well though. Um, but they were like really shocked that there was any kind of interest at all in America and the fact that we actually knew what Bala La the Fairies was and were excited about it. Um, so I hope to contact them again. Like after I do this review, I'll kind of talk to them and see um, what the deal is. But they were surprised that people even wanted like subs or dub in English. So. Hopefully something comes of that. That was back in October. I don't know. Um, but that was really cool that they were like, oh, because they brought like other toys they were showing off. Uh, they did not bring anything like this, but I was like, I love Bala La the Fairies. What's going on? And yeah, so here's Miss Blue. And then I don't think Miss Pink is in here um, right now. She'll be further down, I guess, because this is a big box. If I had to guess, this is a teeny thing doll, which is very exciting. Yay. Okay, so I have reviewed one of these before on my channel. I have the red one. I love the red one. I was very, very impressed because the doll had super soft hair. She was very pretty. She came with a ton of accessories, but I paid quite a bit of money to get her. Uh, just single. I remember she was kind of expensive. I think it was like 30 or something. It wasn't terrible. Uh, these were a way better price than that. And yeah, I'm very happy. So here is our performance. I don't remember the names of all the princesses. Um, but this one, I love her design so much. And the doll actually has the short hair with a little pink streak. Very curious about these. And I have a lot of them to share with you. So here's Miss Purple. This is going to be a completely different doll. Um, well, I'm not finding the next one. So let's just see what's in this box. So anyway, put a pin in Teeny Ping. We've got more Teeny Ping. In fact, these might be more Lulupop Teeny, teeny Pings. Oh no, this... I am so excited about this doll. This is one that I've multiple times had in my cart on AliExpress and decided against for whatever reason. I really wanted this one and this one's actually part of like a duo and I haven't been able to find the, the other one, but look at these. So these are Sweet Lolita ones again. There's a cat and a rabbit. I have the rabbit. I can't find the cat one. That's the, I mean, I love the rabbit one, but I really want that cat one. And these have your more classic Kern doll look and look at this little face. So pretty. Kern dolls are absolutely beautiful in the face. I love the way they like mimic the makeup trends with the eyelashes. It's so pretty. And look at her little bunny bag. I am so excited. I've been really wanting this one. And I decided to get her, not only just because I wanted her, but I thought it would be nice to be able to show you the range of the Kern brand. Where did my other one go? Oh, there she is. Um, the conveniently are both Lolita. I don't know. They were just two that really caught my eye. I wonder... The Sweet Lolita's in the same font. I wonder if that's a thing. Maybe it's a line that they both belong to. I don't know. This could be a Kern friend. I don't 100% know how the brand works. Like, if Kern is a specific character, this could be somebody else. I don't know. Um, yeah. Very, very cute. But you can see facially, they're very distinct. So I wanted to show some of that range. Not that I'm showing any kind of range in looks, because I'm showing you Lolita. Most of them are very, like, modern fashion 
very i mean most of the ones that i've seen the other one that i ordered that i ended up leaving at the proxy because she had a big box um she was this like really cool ball gown one really interesting doll so yeah anyway this one looks to be like i mean they both look to be super super high quality and nice but this one has more trims little bows and stuff i'm very excited i love a lolita-esque doll like that all right i don't know what's in this bag there's two things in here oh three things actually i was wrong so what is this one Oh, ah, okay. This is a Ye Loli doll? Ye Loli? I don't know. Um, this is a very popular show in China. They're, this is a huge doll line. And I've seen the dolls around before and I wasn't sure how to feel about them. So I decided to grab one. This one is one of the like main ones I see dolls of. This one is clearly very popular. I thought her design was really cool and I thought she would be a good one to start with. And already I want to jump to my computer and order more. They have such long fingers. Interesting. So the listing that I put in my little favorites tab that you guys can check out has a ton of these Yololi dolls in it. Um, and they're different sizes, so be careful. Some of them are really big. Um, but yeah, I was just intrigued by this one. And there's lots of gorgeous designs, as you can see. I've been seeing this one a lot. This like Ice Princess one is really cool. And this split hair one I see around a lot too. And, oh man, the face is really pretty. So what company makes these? Yellow oh, it's Yellowly? Oh, yeah. Huh. And then this says Night Lolita. I don't know what that's about. And I guess they're made by just their own company. Not like Yeroon, who does these, is like a company that specifically does the dolls. I don't know. She is really pretty. Her face is really, really nice. She facially... Uh, they're going for a different thing. This one's more, like, youthful, very um, chubby cheeks and stuff, and then this one's got more of that, like, sleek look. I don't know. She's really cute. It's so cute that she's, like, in the box, like, looking up at you. Oh, her nose. She's cute. She's cute. Okay. And then these two, I would think, yeah, there are little... I don't know if they're ball-jointed dolls or MJDs. Oh, oh, my God, they look strong. I think these are referencing the... Er, I think these came about because of the current trend in China for those um, blind box ball jointed dolls that I love reviewing. Um, I can't believe, I think this doll is strong. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, so this is a Yellowly doll again. And she's like a little figure doll, like a BJD sort of thing. I just wanted to see what she was like because she looked really high quality and the price was pretty good. And she was just, she was just really cute. Look at her. And this packaging is adorable. I kind of assumed they would at least mimic blind boxes, but they don't, which is interesting. And these are a lot of the same characters. Like this character, I think, is that character. And you can see that ice one. This one has elf ears. I need to figure out what her deal is. She's really cute. So yeah, got some gorgeous. She has like really cool inset eyes. She's really pretty. And then I got another one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Predictable, Brooke. I got the pink one. So I got what I think are two versions of the same character, but I could be wrong. This could be like a totally different girl. I really don't know. Um, I don't know anything about the show. It's one of those things where like there is a language barrier to watch Chinese shows. You you just can't. There Sometimes there's translated subs, but mm, so I don't know. We'll work on it. <laughs> uh, hopefully I can at least understand them a little bit. All right. Next, I believe this is another teeny ping doll. Yeah, this blue one. I love the blue teeny ping designs. I think they are so cute. I don't know. Like, that's the the South Korean teeny ping doll that I have. The winter one. So pretty. So, so pretty. Princess Crystal, I think. Um, yeah, so there's a blue one. And her... Oh, she's so cute. I love that they actually come with these guys. Because, oh my... If you are familiar with the Hamtaro phenomenon from when I was a kid, that's what's going on with these, these little things. <laughs> Anytime I'm searching for the dolls, nobody wants the dolls. They want these little things and they are expensive. They are very popular. So, yeah. I love these dolls because they're not immediately how I would interpret the show designs, but they actually look pretty close. Like, they're really nice dolls. They're really cute. And I cannot wait to review them with you. I'm going to unbox them all. Okay, another one. If you order these and you don't want to keep the packaging, I highly recommend you um, request that Superbuy unbox them for you, which they will do. Um, 
the boxes are really unnecessarily large and that's gonna eat up your shipping cost a lot although again i will say i was very impressed by the shipping cost as somebody who orders from overseas a lot i've noticed that chinese shipping in particular has gone way up for some reason which has been really frustrating because it used to be really low like back in 2017 when i first started buying proxy packages from china i've been shopping chinese proxies the longest and i've been the most impressed with supervise so far this is my first order with them okay this one i actually have what i think is a weird bootleg i haven't decided what these dolls are i ordered more of them they were let me go get her okay i went and got some more teeny pink dolls so this doll um i never did a video i was planning to when i bought her but uh, she ended up being my catfish doll because the picture that was the ad for this doll was not the doll that arrived like the face is wildly different but um i think she's supposed to be her I think. And the face was not what I ordered, but I will say that the quality of the clothing and stuff I was really impressed by. And this size of doll is popular in China, so you'll find quite a few of these. But anyway, I got this one on AliExpress and I was like laughing about how I totally got catfished by this doll. Um, just because it was like a somewhat weird listing. The pictures were clearly photoshopped, but I was sitting there like something about that doll is so alluring to me like the way the pictures were it was so cute i mean i'll put one on the screen they were gorgeous so i was just really curious so i ordered this one and then she arrived and i was just laughing so hard um so the only post i ever posted about this doll was twitter you might have seen her around in some of my doll room updates in the other room where i have my magical girl dolls but yeah suffice to say i was like disappointed when this doll came but i ended up wanting more could not find the listings absolutely anywhere i was so bummed they got taken down probably for people reporting that that was not the doll that they ordered but i was like dang i actually want more of these so i actually was able to find the listings for them <laughs> from chinese specific websites like that don't market outside of china so um i've ordered two more they're sitting at my proxy right now they were really big they weren't gonna fit in this box without making it way bigger so i left it alone um but yeah so expect some more of those soon but yeah they, they mirror these i'm pretty sure they're meant to be the same designs as these but just weird dolls but i wanted them um i also have my one yaroon doll here and she's so pretty so so pretty so yeah now all of her friends are here which are actually all just her i was so bummed when i started watching teeny ping after i got these dolls and found out that they're all just Romy. i thought they were their i thought they were friends no um, but they can be just friends to me and then this is one of the korean dolls so um they have quite a different look they're totally different dolls it's actually kind of funny especially because they don't overlap in what designs they cover like they're both their own doing their own thing but these are super expensive to import i i got this one from ebay like the laziest way to import something but she was so expensive i think i paid like 40 or 50 bucks for her honestly it was worth it i love her um but i'm really relieved that i found a cheaper way to import these because i've been really wanting more there's something unique about them like they're they're their own thing and i really like that i think the yellowly dolls are going to be similar to this doll for me but i don't know we'll see i just really loved her i thought her color scheme was very pretty i like her look she's just totally different from other um dolls that i have in my collection and i like that it's really cool to it's fun to have dolls made in like other countries even if they were made for like or made for international audiences or something that's still cool but to have dolls that are like not necessarily ever meant to make it outside of their market uh is really really interesting to me i don't know all right here we have my other yuchi surprise doll i think this one was like sagittarius i just ordered the ones that i thought were cute this one see i don't know the zodiac symbols like what is that this one looked like a little alien to me i do think those are ram horns but she just looked like a little alien doesn't she they look like little antenna and this looks like a little like funny like a stage costume of an alien i don't know i thought she was adorable so i got her no idea which zodiac symbols either of them are meant to represent either of the ones that i got but they're cute and that's why i ordered them and i just i can't believe i did not recognize that these were yuji surprise as in this yuji surprise i just was like those dolls are really pretty i didn't i didn't notice that they, <laughs> that they were those how funny because i'd heard of those of course but yeah very cute doll here go i'm gonna guess it's a lulipop oh no no ah this is a rainbow bubble gem i want to call it rainbow magic bubble gem for something this is our rainbow bubble gem doll they did bend this i i gave them the okay you can select for them to be super careful with your packaging or not i gave them the okay to do stuff like this because i wanted the box to be cheaper uh and i'm opening them anyway so yeah red is definitely getting a doll i've seen the doll um i am on a social media sunk 
social media site called Xiaohongshu or the red, Little Red Book. And uh, this company, which is Yurun actually, posts just the red doll. I know the red doll exists. I just don't know if she's out yet. Wow, her clothes are good. <gasps> okay. I was not expecting that. I cannot wait to do a review of this doll. We're going to do either, I think I'll do like reviews of, or I want to do reviews of these. I was thinking like, should I do a live stream? Should I just do reviews? But I'm thinking like, realistically, English speaking reviews of these dolls, there's, there might not be any for a lot of these. So I'll, I'll try to do full reviews for each one. But anyway, as you can see, this is a doll from this show. They are mermaids, but the dolls we have gotten, uh, the, the looks that have gotten dolls, they're not mermaids. So hopefully we will get mermaid dolls. I mean, this is absolutely, oh, look at her. So cute. So hopefully we will get some mermaid dolls, but this doll is really, really gorgeous. And I'm so curious what that hair fiber is. This doll is made by Yaroon and this doll has extremely soft hair. Like I, I don't even know what the hair fiber is. It's just so satisfying and soft. It's really nice. So very curious if this one also uses that. I'm noticing she has that um, UV print that has the pixelation, the lower resolution. See, I just, I thought she was so cute. And this one was one I was super excited about because I have not really seen a lot of pictures of this online except for the ones by the company officially, which I don't know. Y you, It could just be a totally different product in person. You never know. So <laughs> I really wanted that doll in person. And yeah, she's so cute. She's so cute. I'm so, so excited about this one. <laughs> and then in this box we have another one thank you we have another teeny pink doll this is miss green and again if you are looking for any of these dolls you're interested in shopping super buy or adding chinese dolls to your collection in any way check the link in the description i have a partner it does help benefit me so that i can bring you more dolls like this think of me as like your little personal shopper i'll i'll take the risk of finding things like this and being like mm, it doesn't look like the big picture don't order that <laughs> or if, if you want to you can order it's fine i even though i was so bummed about that doll i still want to order more um but i'll be your little personal shopper i'll find them put them on that little portal you can check them out anyway uh here's miss green Ooh, really really good hair color i am so excited to just do this to the hair because of how soft this one's hair is. I think this was Sunshine or something. I totally forgot all their names. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's got her little shamrock theme. She's so cute. So, so cute. They're different girls to me. They're all different magical girls to me. Okay, the last box, I'm trying to think of what this is. Oh, it's the last of all the fairies doll. It's gotta be the, um, the, the pink one, the bunny one, right. She got separated from her friends. Just what made everything fit in the box better. Yay! Oh, her brown eyes are really pretty. Yay! So here is our last Bala La, the fairies doll. And you can see the gorgeous artwork from the show there. And they are so cute. They are so cute. Sorry, I, I desperately want to read what the Chinese says, but <laughs> I can guess. <laughs> Um, this one seems to have higher quality clothing. The other ones had quite a bit of printed on detail reliance in theirs, but this one has more trims, it looks like. And this really interesting see-through material. Very curious about these. So the Bella the Fairies dolls will likely have a review together. The Teeny Ping dolls will likely all have a review together. Kern dolls, same thing. The others, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, oh, Yellow Lee as well will probably have their own video. I might do Rainbow Bubble Jam in with Yellow Lee. Not sure. Um, because we have a lot of videos to get going with these dolls and other ones that I've gotten recently. I've got a lot of reviews to get through. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video was a fun introduction to some of these dolls. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to Superbuy for reaching out to work with me. I have really enjoyed the process. This has been about like two months in the making. I think they first contacted me in around February. Um, and just gathering the things, planning my order, getting my order. The order itself, this is highly dependent on what shipping method you use, but it took, it actually kind of scared me because it sat at a port for a while, but it's because I, the shipping that Supervise shows you is not necessary. it's not going to show you the last mile tracking, so I didn't have the tracking in America showing because, and I knew better. I don't know why I wasn't checking properly. So, because I do that all the time with other, um, things I ordered from overseas. That was just me being silly. But anyway, it sat where what I thought was not moving for like nine days. But when I finally checked the last mile tracking, it was in America getting sorted for a long time. So um, it took about two weeks to arrive, which is what they estimated. I think it said nine to some amount of days um, for the one that I picked. 
And it just, it depends what port it goes through. Sometimes it's going to get in customs either in China or in America or wh whatever other country you live in. I do um, want to make it clear, just because this was a China to America thing doesn't mean it has to be America. Um, they ship basically anywhere that they can. You can check out their website and learn more about that. And um, that's kind of the value of a proxy service is it does not matter where you live. You can get these products most likely. Um, depends. Some countries will have weirdness with import or export and stuff like that so you have to look into it but like a lot of people will be like oh i live in the uk i wish i could order this i'm like i think you can't i think you can um but yeah i am so so excited this has been like one of my most anticipated videos for a long long time one of my most anticipated packages that i've ordered in general because this is so many brands that are just brand new to me and this sort of thing is so fun because it's like i just walked into a toy store in china and got to just pick out a bunch of stuff and that's what happened here i did pay for these um they did not subsidize any of this they subsidized part of what i paid for shipping but um i'm telling you like the actual price of what the shipping was not what i paid for it um but i got like a percentage off i think it was like 20 percent off or something um and any any use of my link will earn me credit that i can then use to buy more products but um regardless i am very excited because there's some things that i did not get on my first order i really want to look into some um BJD companies over there that um, don't have an easy way to import them over. I want to see if I can figure out how to do it using Superbuy and let you guys know. There are some really, really cool doll brands that I've been like, <laughs> like longing for for a while that are artist made that I really, really want to share with you guys. And hopefully I can get those to work out. This time for the first order, I wanted to keep it very simple. Just things that are pretty on demand. You can get them. And um, also... The other times I've ordered from Chinese proxy sites, I just want to let you know, I have ordered over like um, secondhand products, so used products. I know how to do that. I can teach you how to do that. It's really hard. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult, but um, you can do that with Superbuy, so I can walk you guys through it in a later video. I just wanted to keep the first video that we do real simple. I, I wanted to, you know, show you just what China has to offer right now, what you can just get from different online shopping sites. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I would love to know if there's any Chinese brands that you were interested in seeing. I can see about um, getting some if you just want to see that for me. Um, I am pretty new to this, but I'm um, I'm very active on Xiaohongshu. I love looking at Chinese doll collectors' posts. It's so fun to see what dolls from other countries that aren't China that those collectors are interested in, too. Um, they, they're, like, super into specific things. Like, they love Splatoon over there. They love making Splatoon dolls, and those dolls are awesome. Like, it, it's just fun to see the doll community in China um, to be able to interact with them and stuff. It's really fun. Um, so, yeah. That's it for this video. Again, huge thank you to you guys for... Um, allowing me awesome opportunities like this one and um, I hope if you have been looking for a way to buy dolls from China or if you've been looking for a new sort of doll experience this can help you out and stay tuned for reviews of these dolls I have a huge pipeline of videos going right now so it might take a minute before we get to these <laughs> um because I have two thrift videos still to do. I've got this really cool video. You've seen nothing like it on YouTube before. I really hope you guys are excited. I got this really amazing opportunity. I'm super, super excited about it. That's probably happening in the next couple of days. Like, it'll actually get uploaded in the next couple of days. I've been working on it for a minute. Um, and it's super exciting. I, I, I'm excited. Um, so there's, there's a few videos first before these reviews. But we'll get them done. We'll get them going. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Use uh, code CNDOLL on <laughs> Superbuy to shop some Chinese products. Or just use my link and you can see my favorite things. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!